Show yourself, or she dies. <coughs> you, find him. Your cowardice marks you as an Italian. Am I right? Cesare's ambitions. What ambitions? Requiescat in pace. much meeting you here. I will be brief. Just a name. Cesare Borgia. Ezio, he is the last man you would want to cross. I intend to do far more. Tell me of his ambitions. Some tyrants are made, infected by greed and vanity. But some men are bred to be tyrants. Cesare Borgia plotted his bloody ascendance the moment his brother gained the Pope's favor. Cesare was a mere cardinal, Juan the Captain General of the Church. Brother, my imagination failed to capture the splendor of this district when you described it. Surely the Captain General is not afraid to get his boots dirty. <laughs> it's not my boots that worry me. These whores, courtesans. Please. They are clean? Clean enough. <laughs> Come, I will introduce you to Fiora. fished Juan's body from the bottom of the Devere River, leaving Rodrigo without a captain. As captain general, Cesare surrounded himself with like-minded despots, cruel and effective men. Ramiro Dorco, Cesare's sadist, he sent nearly a sixth of his subjects to the gallows. Oliverotto de Fermo, who once invited Fermo's most influential citizens to a banquet and casually slaughtered them. His own uncle was among the dead. Vitellozzo Vitelli, Cesare's syphilitic wild dog, unleashed when terrible examples were to be made. Together, these men conquered Romagna for their Borgia master. But soon their subjects began to rebel. Cesare's response? First, he butchered Dorco, a gift for the people of Cesare. Cesare shifted all blame to his generals. He owned Romagna. He no longer required their brutality. Or their lives. Torco's death must have panicked the others. It did. The remaining generals soon conspired against him. They had their victories. They even took some of Cesare's land. Cesare accepted their every demand. They would return to his service. All would be forgiven. Months later, Cesare threw a dinner in their honor. Friends, I thank you for delivering Romagna into my hands. But now I must shed my bloody gloves.
I never wished you any harm, Cesare. It was entirely Vitellozzo's plan. Ha. No. Your sacrifice will prove invaluable to me. Both Cesare's allies and enemies praised his brilliant move against the conspirators. His cunning has bought him more power than you can imagine, Ezio. Italia is well within his grasp. His influence will mean nothing when he faces me alone. I will stop him. I nearly forgot. Here. Grazie, my friend. You will see me soon. He's expecting you. Go on. Are the designs ready, Messere da Vinci? Corruption reigns in Roma. Tyranny has plagued her for too long. My brotherhood will shift the balance of power. We will liberate her. I am Ezio Auditore, and like my father before me, I am an assassin. <laughs> 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 